this is what the bear motorcycle looks like. They have a couple of heat sinks here and this is the battery case which is bolted on to this chassis to maintain a low center of gravity so that the handling is perfect. Here as you can see is the electric motor which is connected to a rear wheel through a belt. It gets disc brake on both front and the back and uh, it's a combi brake and the frame is completely aluminium which makes the scooter really light. This is fast! Oh my god! I mean, I didn't expect this from an electric scooter. To be on, to be honest with you, it's kind of weird, right? You when you when you open the throttle, you were you're expecting that uh, you know the engine noise, the grunt, and you know the combustion basically. But on this scooter, it's so quiet and it's so nice. I think I'll be telling nice quite a few times. It's a it's a totally quiet. It has the whining sound of the motor, which is really nice. And brakes are brilliant, man. They have done a really good job. Gets disc brake on the front and disc brake at the back, so it's really nice there. And it has one more really special feature, and uh, uh, let me show you that. Suppose you've parked here like that. Say you're standing on an incline and you have to roll back on the incline. It's really difficult to push the vehicle back, right? Here you have park assist which you can switch on if you want to go forward it will slowly move the scooter forward no matter uh, how much throttle you give it will slowly move it forward and once again you press the you press the ignition switch so that it now it's reverse and you give throttle it slowly moves it backward isn't that cool so if you want to cancel it slide to the left and it's done uh, here you can increase the screen brightness so I've put it at maximum brightness so that you can see what is happening and all that and the navigation notifications and then uh, you get an incognito mode and you can store your documents you get an app you have to install that app on your phone you can store all the documents that is required for the motorcycle uh, basically you start on the app and whatever is on the app is on here so let's get back to settings and errors if you have any any errors at all with the motorcycle it'll be showing over here and the settings and this is basically it if you shift to eco mode the range considerably increases see it was showing 56 just a while ago and now it is showing around 70 kilometers in the eco mode what happens is there is a slight reduction in the power delivery and the top speed you know to give you that more mileage i've ridden a few electric uh, motorcycles and what happens is when you when you when you open the throttle the bike jerks ahead so that doesn't happen on this motorcycle it's very smooth and it's very nice as well so let us now switch off eco mode i don't think i need it Uh, if you hit the kill switch, the motor is off. So, if you give throttle, it says motor off, disengage, kill switch. So, how you start the bike is, you, you click the kill switch, and then hold either the front or back brake, and then press the start button. And now you see that the motor is on. That is pretty quick man, that is pretty damn quick, oh shit. Whew. That is nice. It's definitely better than your average scooter. Oh, look at that, he has pinned his throttle down and this bike is still keeping up. And the brakes are fantastic. It is a really smart scooter. So let me be frank with you, the, the amount of space that I have, I'm a, I'm a tall person. It is very similar to any other scooter that you can buy. Trust me, it's just like the Activa or the Access for that matter. Just the only thing is that it doesn't have a combustion engine. It has an electric motor, very little moving parts. So you don't have to spend a bomb on maintenance. 
and it's perfect for city use. People complain, people say the range must have been more and all that, but it's perfect for city commute, let me tell you that. It'll give you about 75 kilometer stops. I really don't think you'll travel more than 75 kilometers and they have around 20 charging stations in, in Bangalore city and they'll be increasing that. And you know what, one more thing that, I've, that I almost forgot to tell you is when you're riding the motorcycle, no matter what you do, the touchscreen doesn't work. That is a safety feature built in on this scooter. The stand is a really remarkable thing that I must show you. Yeah. Look at the way it opens, man. And that is it. So this is the Aether 450 that we are riding today. It gets LED headlamps. It's pretty clean. It looks it looks very slim and sleek. Gets disc brakes on both front and back. Gets a LED tail lamp as well. And the turn indicator is really cool on this uh, scooter. Let me just show you. That is the turn indicator. And that's pretty cool. So this is the charging port. So this is where you plug in the charger and this is to hold your whatever you, you, you carry case and all that. This is a full size empty helmet that you see here fit inside because that is because this doesn't have a petrol tank. This hinge is really cool. A full size helmet man that is I think I'm lost now I don't know where I am. So, so let me just navigate to that place. Uh, Okay, search, Aether space, this is where I want to go. So where am I? So, just need to go straight and take a left. I've changed the route now, so you've got a notification there. So you use the toggle switch to say yes or no. So I want to say yes, so I push it to the right and it redirects me to that place. The scooter gets a really big billion seat as well. Both, both these seats are soft and as I told you earlier, it's really comfortable. These things here are fast chargers and this will charge your motorcycle in about roughly two, two and a half hours. And the one which you get with the motorcycle, which you can use it in to plug it into your house, you know, the normal three pin socket, that will charge the entire motorcycle in about four hours. It's a warranty of 2 years 30,000 km for the scooter and 3 years unlimited kilometers for the battery pack. It comes in two variants. The 340 will cost you 1,9,000 on road and the 450 will cost you 1,24,000 on road. And this is it. Thank you for watching. Until next time.